Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Here's the headline. The House Committee subpoenas VA for records in sexual harassment investigation. Interesting. Want to jump into that for you. Uh, read it here from the Federal News Network. Uh, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. For those that have missed Stan, he is out there somewhere making noise. Uh, so... I really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up and let the video run or the two asks. I really appreciate it. It helps to uh, really get this word out to more of us. Uh, in addition, if you want to become a member, please do so. You can do it by going to the home page. You'll see the highlighted members. You can hit the join button. That helps to support the channel and it helps me to find you quicker in the comments. All right, let's jump into it here. House lawmakers are calling on the Department of Veterans Affairs to shed more light on an investigation of alleged sexual harassment in its office that normally deals with these types of claims. Ironic. All right. So the House VA committee on Thursday voted 22 to 1 to approve a subpoena demanding more documents and records from the VA's internal investigation. Committee Chairman Mike Bo I wonder who voted against that. Uh, committee Chairman Mike Boast said VA employees contacted the committee in September 2023 with allegations of alleged sexual harassment and misconduct from leaders within the Office of Resolution Management, Diversity and Inclusion. It's I've seen uh, damning evidence of sexual harassment that was ignored by senior officials at VA for months, Boast said. If it was not for the brave whistleblowers and this committee's investigation, there is no telling where or if or when or if a VA would have taken the sexual harassment allegations seriously. VA employees who contacted the committee claimed they received explicit text messages from the, uh, from the organization's leaders and facing retaliation in the workplace for turning down their advances. Wow. Boast said these employees reported some of the sexual harassment allegations to the VA starting in July 2022. He said the VA did not act on those allegations until November of 2023, a year and a half later almost, uh, after he had sent two letters and called VA Secretary uh, to demand some sort of action. Uh, women who have endured sexual harassment are stonewalled by the VA, so they turn to Congress for something to be done. That in itself is unacceptable, Boast said. Boast said the VA senior officials accused of sexual harassment have retired, resigned, or been reassigned to new positions within the department. The committee has sent seven letters to the VA seeking more information. The VA press secretary, Terrence Hayes, said in a statement that the VA will provide the committee with a final report on its internal investigation by the end of the month. VA does not tolerate sexual harassment. We are treating these allegations with the utmost seriousness. Have moved to aggressively investigate them and will take swift and appropriate action, Hayes said. As always, we are committed to ensuring a safe, welcoming, and harassment-free environment for, employee, uh, for employees of the VA. Hayes said that since November 2023, the VA has provided the committee with nearly 1,200 pages of documents, 27 transcribed interviews, uh, from VA's internal investigation and briefings on the status of these investigations as well as additional materials. Committee ranking member Mark Takano, the only committee member to oh here we go, to vote against the subpoena, said the employee the employee's claims are sensitive and significant and warrant a thorough investigation. It is simply too early in the investigation to make conclusions of wrongdoing or to say VA is not enforcing its workplace safety policies, he said. Takano said the VA has tried in good faith to respond while also trying to protect the integrity of the ongoing internal investigation. If the VA investigation does find there was wrongdoing, VA has the tools to hold these employees accountable and should take all appropriate action against wrongdoers and should make affected employees whole. 
he said. Takano also raised concerns about the committee releasing the names of VA officials who are accused of sexual harassment prior to the conclusion of the investigation. I have not heard of any situation where the subjects of an investigation, even their names, are thrown out into the public. Doing so risks a rush to judgment without the full context of all the facts, he said. In addition, the VA's own review, Takano said the Postal Service Equity and Employment Opportunity Office is conducting a second investigation. Interesting. Obviously, when they themselves are implicated, they can't investigate themselves, Takano said about that organization. The VA's Office of Resolution Management, Diversity and Inclusion includes its Harassment Prevention Program, which provides centralized tracking, monitoring, and reporting of harassment allegations. We will report harassment allegations to VA leadership in order to ensure that prompt corrective measures are taken to decrease harassing behavior in the workplace, an HPP, uh, HPP states on its website. Ranking member of the Technology Modernization Subcommittees, uh, Sheila, I don't know how to say it, Kerferlis McCormick, uh, urged the committee to protect the identity of the whistleblower and to avoid sharing text messages or emails that could reveal her identity. I want to ensure that we can take extra steps and mechanisms to protect the whistleblower because part of the strength and bravery it takes to come out is to know that you're actually going to be protected, she said. And that uh, concludes it. So, interesting information. Just wanted to share it with you and let you know some more VA drama internally. And uh, I don't know what sort of, you know, negative effects may come from that. But I will tell you that there are many veterans spouses, dependents, uh, you know, that work at the VA. So uh, I hope that uh, all is well and I hope the VA figures this out because that is completely unacceptable if it did happen. And again, it's an investigation, so we don't know 100%, but it doesn't look good. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we do not take care of each other, something went wrong.